Hi everybody, welcome to the iGamer Podcast. Today we're playing Bioshock Infinite. This is episode 2. Um, I got to the point where I just saw the statue, uh, or monument I guess, um, and I just got in a telegram saying that uh, I should stop and not alert common stock to my presence and not to pick number 77. Um, that's about all I know at this point. I agree. Keep saying One that. sweep and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally as Mr. Jeremiah Fink, to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be, be to our fair city. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Yeah, sure, Find why not? The devil, good sir, and cast him out. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. And there's devil number one. Nice and easy. Okay, don't hit, don't hit the mother. All right, and nice and easy. We have a winner. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, yep, that was super hard. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough, and I'll get you a prize. Twenty points. Twenty points sounds doable. Sweet, I don't forget this guy. That was embarrassing. I should have hit that. I can totally get the. I can get the 20 points. This is easy. I'll give it a shot. I can't believe I missed. One. Eleven, nice. Two with one. What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Everybody here is so, like, hoity toity. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to one of those. you with a beloved spouse? With just a whisper. They're all ears. That's a little creepy. Alright, so I'm tripping out. Uh. <laughs> what the heck? Press to 
turn machines into allies. Simple enough. All right, cool. What the hell was that? Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Yes, and that don't mean me. Oh, change that. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagine. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Oh. Something's clearly a wash here. Can I have it, Silver Eagle? No. We won't leave until you do. You have my word on that. Is it that time of year? I turn around. No, nope, it's still there. I'll take the money from there. Yeah, why not? <laughs> he looks just fine to me. That's creepy. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system, uh, we gotta have the best. Well, they got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some uh, box. That looks painful. <laughs> Wait. Lutess. That was the person who sent me the... Um, that person sent me the telegram. And that's the lady. That's, uh... That's weird. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady. But I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. What the... That's... Concerning. Alright, so apparently I'm the false shepherd. That's way too much of a coincidence. In the raft. All right. I should probably top up my salt. So what's the raffle? Oh, beckoning to me. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. No, I'm not supposed to pick 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white No, I don't want to be in the front row. Columbia? All right then. The winner is number 77! Of course. What are the odds? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! Wait. What? What the fuck? What? 
the fuck? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> that... That's fucked up. Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm we've throwing it at you. It's him! Oh shit. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, False uh, Shepherd? And we ain't let no False Shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh crap. What the fuck? Well, that escalated quick. Jesus. What? Holy crap! I, I, I honestly don't know about that. This game is incredibly graphic. Holy crap. And I'm being shot at. Cool. I now have a gun. That was a little bit ridiculous. I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> oh, shit. Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. So it doesn't act up. All right. Well, let me. There is. Sure, why not? Seems like a great idea. Oh, 
Whoa. Okay, I like my hands buttons and not scalding. Press to throw a fiery grenade. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. Cool. Seems easy enough. All right. Cool. <laughs> that wasn't no sample. Oh, shit. Cool. We're gonna take a break here. We'll be back for episode three.